It's so sad. He still thinks he's great. Moldova's or Ukraine's Edward Roman Yuta wants your love. Are you ready to give it to him? No. Nope. Not at all. It's so dated and yeah, 10 years ago, I would have loved it. I would. But make what? Make, what? That, make that 20. 20, years <laughs> 20. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. It's so dated it is. Um, but no, I don't like it anymore. And um, I like dance songs, but this is a really bad one. And he can sing um, a little. He can dance a little. Um, but that's it. The song itself is just crap. And he thinks he's amazing. And that's the fact why I absolutely dislike it. The song itself is already yeah, crap, like I said. Um, but he thinks he's amazing. And he's the best one. And he will win. And I really hate that. I love performance uh, would say um, that they believe in the song but they are still um, how do you call it like um, humble yeah humble they're still humble I prefer that and I would vote for songs like that and I mean no he's just not no, no. <laughs> the thing is you can't fake humility if you haven't got it so I don't for me it's not a massive requirement but if you're going to be conceited of a track then please put your best foot forward to me, this may be his best foot, but it's not even a toe compared to the musical standards that we are, you know, seeing coming out of um, Vienna. It's the 60th anniversary of Eurovision, for goodness sake. You know, not some sort of, you know, Diana Jackson-esque tribute, tribute band. I, I don't know where this is going. This is not advancing to Saturday's show. He couldn't qualify in Ukraine. <laughs> of course, wrong gender. And um, so he moved to Moldova. And where... Actually, the Moldovan pre-selection was very good this year. How he emerged as the winner is still a mystery to me. I mean, I mean like, like, having seen him twice live, he is very energetic when he's performing. And I kind of like the appeal that he's so dedicated to Eurovision that he kind of left Ukraine, which is hyper-competitive because of the quality of entries and went to Moldova to try. So, like, I respect that and admire that. And the song is catchy despite being horrendously dated. But just his attitude, yeah, is not the best. Um, and also his voice isn't the greatest either. Like, it kind of grates after a while. Like, he has this whole, like, American sort of, like, assumed swaggery thing. And that can be good in a context where, like, it's cool. And you're like, oh, my God. Like, yeah, I'd Instagram that. Like, I'd tweet that shit. But with Edward, it's more like MySpace. Like, it's very old age social media friendly and also he wears so much leather and like Mon Zomalov makes leather oh. look like incredible like he's like he looks hot but like it's incredible and Edward it's just like is that B.O.? like do you have deodorant? I'm just like it leaves a bad smell so he sings <laughs> that, that. <laughs> So he sings, remind me why we ain't together. We got that magnetic connection moving so fast. Let's take it slow. Ain't gonna let you let me go. I'm gonna let you go. This song, it's got horrible lyrics. It's cheesy. But then again, someone said that makes it perfect. So I do worry that the fact this is so bad, some people might think it's good and vote for it. He's a very good live performer. We've got to give him that. He can dance and he does have a good voice. Um, and he's risen in my estimation in terms of live performance. But his attitude at interview press days kills it for me. Just kills it. The fact he won't answer questions not about his song suggests he's hiding something or that he has nothing to say. In either case, it's very bad and does not endear him to me. Um, I don't want his love. I don't want his song. I want him to go. I want uh -huh. him to go back to Ukraine so he can not compete for Moldova, which has really good singers. I mean, Zlata Ognovich said pray for Ukraine, and I think we should actually be saying pray for Moldova in this instance. Mm. And I'm afraid he won't go after the semifinal. Um, like you said, I think he will go to the finals. It's the first song, and um, it's up-tempo. It's a kind of a good start, and... Yeah, I think a lot of people will vote for it, although I don't think it will be deserved. But yeah, I think I will see him back. He's a good Christina dancer. Starlight had a point of view. She had a very strong point of view. Yes, it may be, it may not have been universal flavor, but you could put that, you could consider it to be art. It's certainly the video was basically mm. genius. 
I mean, <laughs> this is just like, I, I don't get it. It just throws me back to a really ugly era where music was banned. The song isn't great. The choreography is is dated. It's trying to copy something else and not copying it well. I haven't seen him perform live, so I'm just judging by what I've seen on YouTube, which to me is just really subpar. Well, on that note, let's go around and give our scores out of 10, starting with Angus. I give this a three because he has good energy and stage presence, like we say, and live, like, he overcomes an awful lot of the song scores. Not all of them, I mean, like, that's Everest, like, you're never going to scale that peak. But he does his best to get up there, and, like, the energy is refreshing compared to some acts on stage. Um, but the song is horrendously dated, and, yeah, his arrogance does not respond because confidence is a good thing this is arrogance and i don't like that mm. maybe i'm a little too nice um i'm giving it a five i've seen him perform live and i think it was way better than the recorded version so there's still hope but the song itself no i have to be fair and I'm giving him a 3.5 because there is Eurovision's next top male model, which I feel that he has potential. And, you know, not everybody can bag the Eurovision trophy, but there are other sub competitions. And with those leather trousers, he's also in line for a Barbara Dex award. So a 3.5. We need participants. I'm going to give him a 3.5 as well. I mean, I want him to cut the hair, cut the song, and cut the attitude, but that's not going to happen. Fact is, he can dance, he's got a good voice, and he looks like Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, so it's a 3.5 for me. 